Hello friends. Well, the sun has come out today. What a gift. A friend just gave me a link to a new YouTube channel called Wilderness Strong. And this is a father-son team. They're putting out some really great material. I will link to them in the description. But the videos he sent were about using flint and steel without charred material. And I was delighted to learn some new natural materials that I can use. But this comes up because I was showing somebody just the other day how to use flint and steel. And we were talking about making char cloth. And I said that there's one material out here that is completely natural. You're just going to find it in the woods or more likely here in the fields. And it requires no char and it also requires no processing. You literally pick it off the plant and you're ready to go. This is amazing because if you are familiar with flint and steel, if you've read forums, it's, it's all about we need charred material, we need charred material. Well, it's simply not true. There's many materials right from nature that we can use. A prime one is chaga, but all these materials require some amount of processing, drying, squashing up. This, again, you literally just pick it off the plant, you're ready to go. This comes from our common milkweed. Let's go meet it and give it a try. Here we are, you can find these all winter long. These are the dried pods, the milkweed, and inside there's that fin. See that sticking out? That is all we need, right there. I'm using two pieces here. Pretty magical. If you use flint and steel, give this a try. It's that easy. If there's a trick to this at all, it's that when you get that initial spark on there, it's a little bit delicate. I had wind to help me out today, so that wind right away took it, but if it's a still day, as soon as you get that spark, give it a nice, super steady, gentle blow of air, and you'll be good. Tell me how it goes, my friends. Happy bushcrafting and love to you all. <laughs>